Jez here, going back to the primitive with Far Cry Primal, headed to both Xbox One and Windows. Far Cry Primal takes the popular first person series all the way back to the Mesolithic Stone Age, ditching AK-47s for bone clubs and sniper rifles for wooden bows. Primal follows Far Cry 4, which launched less than a year and a half ago. I found Far Cry 4 to be a solid but uninspired product. I went into Primal with that in mind, and thankfully, I'm happy to report that Far Cry Primal is not only awesome, but it triumphantly reinvigorates a franchise that seemed in danger of becoming dull. Far Cry Primal takes place some 12,000 years ago in a prehistoric Eastern Europe. It follows the exploits of Takar, a young Wenja warrior with a talent for leadership, beast taming and brutal combat. The land of Urus constructed for Primal is absolutely stunning. The draw distances, dynamic lighting and foliage density all contribute to the game's untamed natural setting, joining the likes of The Witcher 3 as one of the most detailed and atmospheric open worlds available today. To create an authentic Stone Age experience, Ubisoft spoke to linguists to construct an ancient language for the game's inhabitants. Considering the entire plot is delivered via subtitles and evocative motion capture, the fact that Primal has some of the most memorable characters and most engaging Ubisoft plots to date truly shows the studio at their best. <laughs> There is no uninspired tact on multiplayer in Far Cry Primal, giving the campaign a razor sharp focus. As you progress through the game's non-linear character story chains, Takar's Wenger tribe grows in size and prosperity. As your settlement grows, so does your arsenal of primitive weapons and tools. Despite the absence of modern technology, Primal's weapons are surprisingly diverse and a whole lot of fun to wield. Various types of clubs, bows, traps and even primitive grenades make Takar's bloody mission all the more enjoyable. When being a Stone Age Rambo isn't enough, Takar has the ability to tame and direct wild beasts to devastating effect. Some can also be ridden into battle, which not only helps you lay waste to the savage tribes who want to eradicate the Wenger, but also aids traversing the game's gargantuan map. My only feedback about Primal pertains to its survival and crafting mechanics, which aren't as deep as they perhaps could be. They're still the Ubisoft brand simplistic collectathons that don't particularly enhance gameplay. Additionally, the Xbox One version can suffer from atrocious frame rate issues, particularly in the game's tundra areas. The truth is, there was little to find to complain about in Far Cry Primal. The story and characters are complex and intriguing, the setting is as beautiful as it is fresh, and the combat is satisfying and visceral. <laughs> At 12 hours in, I had only covered about a third of the map, and that's while skipping the vast majority of the game's dynamic events and side missions. Far Cry Primal is a stunning return to form for Ubisoft, and should satisfy fans of open world adventures everywhere. I've been Jez for Windows Central, you can find me at Twitter at Jez Corden, and as always, thanks a ton for listening.